we don't like conflict, but part of setting up boundaries and having healthy, thriving relationships is actually to speak up and to get in little like sort of arguments or uncomfortable patches sometimes with people because when bullies don't like to be challenged, they don't, well, they don't want to lose control. It's the worst thing in the world for them. They hate that. They're, uncon they're living a very unconscious life <laughs> and they want to stay in control because they're afraid and they're wounded and they don't, they're not ready or want to grow up and mature to heal and to face their fears and, and to be naked, raw, real, honest and to go through emotional, the upset of emotional healing. They want to appear strong <clears throat> and they want to maintain maintain control, power, okay, and manipulation. So they'll always blame you when you try and stand up to them. Like if you stand up to a bully, they'll say you're doing wrong and you're, you're a controller. <laughs> they'll call you names, they'll put you down and they'll try and put the focus on you, okay. So part of creating healthy boundaries in life is actually to, to, to be courageous, you have how to win a life. You have to be courageous, guys. You have to be courageous as a divine human being to step into your abundance of power, your your, your lower three chakras of physicality, energy, strength, power, self authority, self autonomy, um, a sense of self sufficiency to a large degree as well, and you know confidence. And you have to be willing sometimes to have face the uncomfortableness of having a little negative patch with somebody like an uncomfortable patch because you're standing up to the tyrant and you can do so with your heart chakra with love and compassion but absolutely with your bottom, your lower three chakras and uh, and your upper chakras spiritual like balanced and you can say you know you can educate as and have very strong healthy boundaries so stop tyrannical behavior like it's not it's not a favor as i said to a friend it's not a favor to a bully or to a sick person to keep them sick or being a bully so when you get bullied and walked over and boundary bashed boundary trodden by if it's your parent your your boss your coworker um your family member your friend stranger especially people you already know really, but anyone. It's not a favor to them to be boundary bashed and thrown over and abused. So you, ha you teach people how to treat you and you want to teach people that you see through their, their wounds, their nonsense, their bullshit, their scars, their hurts with love and compassion, but there's no way in hell you're going to put up with that and be abused. Okay, so that's not a favor to you. It's not love, it's not compassion. It's not love to you and it's not love to them. As I said, to keep a sick person sick, to keep a confused person confused, or to keep a bully a bully. So help, say no, stand up, be strong, be courageous, face the uncomfortableness, the temporary uncomfortableness. And after a while, the bully will get the point and you have to be consistent and prove it time and time again. In the end, they'll want to avoid you because bullies are actually weak and hurt at heart, okay? They're not weak fundamentally, but you know they're a divine being of love and light, of course, ultimately, deeply. But on the temporary level, they are they do have a weakness from not being healed yet. So they they're weak. Um, underneath their outer facade of power, strength, and control, they're 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 vulnerable and they're weak and they're afraid. Okay, there's no chance in hell, even if it's an old frail woman with power of almighty inner strength, like Peace Pilgrim, my hero. She could stand up to anyone. She's as hard as nails. And I want you to be as hard as nails in this video and have the best life possible. And that's why I'm making this video. So now you know my heart and intention. So just to reiterate one last time before I finish this video, this message for today. Even, even a small physical person with great inner strength can rattle the hell out of a bully by being a powerhouse, being serious, not being all love and light, being a serious powerhouse of almighty strength within. And they don't want that. The bully wants to pick on the weakest person there. So if you're going to act all weak and be weak, they're going to pick on you and they're going to continue to exploit you. But if you are going to learn and empower yourself and be strong, you'll just destroy and defeat the negativity in the person who needs healing, who we call the bully or the tyrant, <laughs> the tyrant, the bully at this moment in time. 
and I'm not trying to judge or label anyone in a bad sense of anybody because like we can be we have our own ways we can improve and purify too but some people are far more negative than others and my heart goes out to the people who are genuinely getting exploited and bullied like even like you know raped and sexually abused um encroached upon like just physical boundaries emotional abuse even f mental abuse you know just put down criticisms all that type of stuff control games that's not nice and i absolutely don't like that one little bit and i'm really serious about that and i don't want it to continue so that's why i'm making this video so you will prove if you be consistent to the universe and then you won't get this lesson anymore much in your life You'll break the habits, break the ancestral patterns, break the negative behavior, and step into your uncomfort zone, expand your comfort zone, or expand your comfort zone, go into your uncomfortableness, okay? And be proud and happy with yourself, okay? And balance it with some love and a bit of kindness and nice words and gratitude as well for these people. It's not about a war, it's not about being against them, but it's about self-love at the end of the day. And after self-love, it's about then loving them, as I explained earlier, okay? So anyway, I hope you've liked this video. I hope you've enjoyed the background. Um, it's a cold day here in Ireland. Um, I'm in my shorts. Um, I'm in my back garden. There's a beautiful apple tree behind. I hope you caught that. I was trying to get that in the video. And a uh, nice tree, so... Take care, God bless, and don't forget to subscribe everybody please, and to like the video, give it a share, share, subscribe, uh, leave your comments please, I'd love to hear your comments, and also um, you can favourite the video and share on your social media or watch with your friends and family, share this video to empower your friends guys, like share it with your friends or family, your close friends or close family, empower and help your friend circle, get a more closely knit group of um, healthy, positive and empowered spiritual people in your life. Don't be a loner. A lot of spiritual people are like loners, you know. So you have to make the effort, you know. So I encourage you and don't forget if you want one to one life coaching, just check me out below. Um spiritual life radiant um, abundant uh, life coaching of body, mind, spirit. See you again in another video. Thank you for your help, support and time and love and I pay my love and respect to you. Okay, see ya.